The tapes the special counsel has of Donald Trump sharing classified information at his Bedminster resort have been released and they are damning for Donald Trump. These are bad, sick people. That, but, was, that was your coup, you know, against you. That's well, it started they, right at the like beginning. Like when Millie's talking about, oh, you were going to try to do a coup. No, they, they were trying right. to do that before you even were sworn in. That's right. Trying right. to overthrow yeah. your election. Well, with Millie, uh, let me see that. I'll, I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. Mm. Wait a minute, let's see here. Uh, I, <laughs> I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential, yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. But look, look at this. You attack and... Hillary would print that out all the time, you know. <laughs> she'd, send it, no, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner. Yeah, yeah. The pervert. Um, by the way, isn't that incredible? Yeah. I was just saying, because we were talking about it. <laughs> and, you know, he said, he wanted to attack Iran and what? He said the papers. Wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to... Declassified. Figure out a, a, yeah. See, as president, I could have declassified. Yeah. Uh, now I can't, you know, but this is yeah, classified. Now, now we have a problem. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, it's so, I'm, look, we here and I have, and you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe it's you. It's incredible, right? No. They, hey, bring some, uh, bring some cokes in, please. There it is. Donald Trump saying these documents were given to him by the military. They're highly confidential. They're secret. They're going to have to declassify them. As president, he could have declassified it. Now he can't. So cool. And then he orders a round of Cokes. Now, in that tape, you can just hear how Donald Trump surrounds himself at his resorts with yes men and women. And that's one of the reasons why he's in so much trouble is because somewhere... In the White House, somewhere during his presidency when he was on his way out, you know that he was probably encouraged to do this. Uh, he was told that he could do this. And oh boy, oh boy, uh, were they wrong. You know Donald Trump wanted to keep those documents because he somehow thinks it raises this point about Millie trying to overthrow him. Just completely absurd. Kind of, you know, th that kind of thinking from Mr. Trump comes after four long years, stressful years where he created so many enemies and so many people were out to get him. Uh, so of course his mind was in that kind of place where he's just, everybody's out to get me. I've got to protect myself at whatever costs, even if that means I'm going to steal classified information uh, and now share it with uh, writers. These uh, people were supposedly um, Mark Meadows, writers they were writing a uh, they were his ghost writers for his his memoirs uh, that that he's writing or his biopic that he's writing but really the only question i have is uh, do they serve coke in jail I, I highly doubt it mr trump so good luck ordering a round of cokes uh, in the next 6 months as you sit in a jail cell uh, we'll see how this trial's going to go i mean with this tape it's pretty much an open and shut case. It really should just take a few hours. Um, hopefully the jury won't have to deliberate too long. But, I mean, this is this is pretty much open and shut. Uh, there's more to the trial, actually, that I want to talk about. But first, I want to check in with Sean Hannity uh, to see how the right wing is dealing with this uh, and, and just how delusional uh, it's making them tonight. He brought, well, number one, he's right about Hillary Rodham Clinton, top secret classified documents on our servers, uh, outlined extensively by Jim Comey in July of 2016, but no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute. Uh, now, while he did say, you know, this is stuff that he got from the military that would be highly confidential and secret, 
and says at another point, as president, I could have de declassified it. Now I couldn't, but now, you know, it would still be a secret. That does not confirm for me whether or not specifically this, this document was declassified or not. Uh, was that actually a real, the real document, or was it a story that he was telling? Um, and my understanding is, is that that particular document was never found by the special counsel or by, you know, the raid at Mar-a-Lago, but I might be mistaken on that. I don't think I am. Sean Hannity there starts off his response to a former president sharing highly classified information with people who don't have security clearances, uh, information that he stole from the White House, information that he was asked to return. He didn't. They subpoenaed him. They raided him his estate something that's never happened before right his first reaction is well he was right about hillary clinton i mean how sad is that oh sean hannity you are disgusting uh and then he goes on to talk about how uh you know hillary she broke the law but no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute like he he basically explained it how no reasonable prosecutor saw that there was evidence enough to prosecute Hillary Clinton so they didn't do it and that kind of reminds me what's happening to Joe Biden now all these allegations against him uh his family it's all just republicans saying this same thing that happened to Hillary Clinton right a lot of smoke caused by these republicans but there's no fire that's just, that's the Republican playbook. So that's just more of that. Uh, and then Sean Hannity quotes Donald Trump, but he doesn't quote him saying, we'll have to declassify it. And then, and then Hannity goes on to just uh, pontificate and wonder with that huge brain of his, well, was this the real document? Well, I I'm going to explain something to you, Sean Hannity. The reason Jack Smith chose to prosecute is because those people in the room are going to testify that the document was real it, it, it's open and shut like i said before this tape bring in the witnesses yep he shared documents with us yep we saw it we saw the the, the classified markings cool i'm done here open and shut open and shut so you're gonna hear over the next days and, and weeks and months how oh was it oh I don't know coming from all these right-wing media sources but guess what there are close to 85 witnesses against Donald Trump and many of them or many of the people in that room are part of that witness list so <laughs> Sean Hannity you can oh you can, you can go on your 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 late night program all you want and just oh wh what's going on the FBI, oh, oh, they're a democratic weapon, oh. But once we get to trial, Donald Trump is screwed. 